succession planning. When we start, and we are the CEO, and we are the you want everybody to be looking at you. All decisions start and end with you. Unfortunately, we are only sitting on that seat for a moment. And I say to CEOs that from day one, that you take over that responsibility, start planning your succession. This is very tough for Nigerian businesses. It's very tough because that position of CEO or what I call the, the, the entrepreneurial owner manager, they always want to be in that position for life. It pains me because they could be enjoying life better. I will close by telling the story of one of the boards that I had the privilege of serving as a chairman. This lady at that time was about 80 years old. She had the best of people that could be on that board. But she never made good use of us. She listened, she did a few things, but she never wanted to relieve or relinquish that position as the owner manager of that institution. We got some young, vibrant people that were ready to buy into that investment. If they had allowed, if she had allowed, the woman would have cashed out. She would have been able to enjoy the best of her life. We did an analysis of how much she was going to be spending. From the cash out, if she just put that money into some kind of uh, saving instrument, she would not even spend 20% of that return. And I told her, I said, Mama, it means that till you will die, you will continue to just enjoy without working again. And we all agreed, everybody laughed, everything. Two days before the sign of it, she called me. We met at four points and she was crying. She said she couldn't sleep. That everything that she has worked for, she's going to hand it over to somebody. She doesn't spend up to one month in a year in that institution. And COVID struck and she could not even get the kind of money we had negotiated. Succession planning from day one is very important. It helps the business to be sustainable, but it also puts a lot of cash into your pocket. I thank you very much.